Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, we are going to start a project of 15 storied building, which is having inclined column like this. After fifth level, there is the basement, basement roof. Then level one, two, three, four, five. After five, this column is going at the top level in inclined way and this is the floor plan basement with the retaining wall here is the ramp basement roof this is the opening or open area for the staircase this is the share wall on this level one two three four Five from level five. This is the area, floor area, area directed in a large portion like from here. This is the elevation, and this is up to level fifteen. From level five to level fifteen, this column distance, horizontal distance. 2.5 meter at level 5 this column located at this grid or this point and at the top of the level 15 it is in 2.5 meter away from this point so this is our project we will try to cover all the details from modeling analysis design and detailing in proto structure 2019 so let's start we will open proto structure close this one now all project from here we will go to new project click on ok from here we have to select our template as per the preferable design code we can go for aci euro code bs code this philippine practice aci 318 and nscp 2015 thailand aci 318 ibc here i will go with this aci 318 and with ibc code so this one select import Now here we will create grid first. We know that how to import grid and column in Proto Structure. If you want to check, you can check in my previous tutorial on Proto Structure for a commercial multi-story building. There I have imported the AutoCAD file with grid and columns. Here manually we will draw our grids. We can draw single axis like this for multi segment grid line. Here we can press this option, then from here to here. If we want to provide manual distance, press F2 then 10500 millimeter for example 10.5 meter press enter then along which direction you want to go you can go if it is horizontal then press straight horizontally like this 
then if there is any inclination or angle in the axis then we can provide the distance for example f2 15000 mm then for angle trace tab then we can provide the angle for example 30 degree press enter so according to the angle and distance it selected a point here then from here we can go again horizontally for example here we can provide distance and angle also like this 25 meter and press tab then press 0 degree if it as it is horizontal press 0 enter so it has selected another point then again same way we can provide the angle and inclination now press enter so this is the multi segment axis or grid line we can generate circular or curved axis also like this press one point then for example f2 16000 millimeter press enter then the segment angle for example f2 tab 30 degree enter press enter so this is the circular or curved axis with the radius and the angle or we can do another thing this point this point then we can select another point using three point we can get the curved axis for multiple grid we have to select this one then select the point reference point here or here anywhere like this then it will give you the option to provide the data direction one that means here in prota direction one means y axis direction two along x axis so here we have the grid for along y axis 6.4 6.4 to here this is in millimeter so 6 4 6.4 meter or 6400 millimeter into 2 then comma 6 7 and 5.8 6 6 6000 millimeter 7000 millimeter and last one is 5800 this is along y direction now for x direction first one one three five zero one three five zero comma six five zero and then two two double zero eight four double zero
3000 in this way we will provide on the dimension here to generate the grid so last one is 5.8 meter here we have provided 5 at double zero if there is multiple uh, axis with the same distance like 8 meter into 2 7 meter into 2 here 8 double so 8 into 2 7 double so 7 meter into 2 we have provided so this is the thing click on ok so this is our grid so today up to this in the next tutorial we will model the column step by step i will try to cover all the details so I will request to all of my viewers to be patient for the tutorials because nowadays I am getting very less time to prepare tutorials and for last one month I am having some sickness issue so if you can please pray for me for recovery and pray for more free times so that I can make more tutorials. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming tutorials. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.